Political cooperation, heightened policy consultations, an air services agreement allowing direct flights from both countries to each other, and a social securities agreement to protect migrant workers working in their host countries are just a few of the bilateral agenda discussed in today's face-off between the country's leaders and their counterparts from Timor-Leste. The full report care of our Kenneth Pashente. The bilateral meeting between President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and Timor-Leste President Jose Ramos Horta during his state visit has been productive. The two leaders discussed topics beneficial to both countries, such as political cooperation. President Marcos Jr. said they agreed to instruct their ministries to intensify negotiations on policy consultation that can strengthen the two countries' relationship. Other points included exploring direct flights under the Air Services Agreement and discussing a bilateral social security agreement to ensure the safety of each country's professionals working in each other's countries. Educational cooperation in higher education institutions was also emphasized. President Marcos Jr. highlighted the Philippines' commitment to assist Timor-Leste in skills formation, especially in food processing, and expressed intent to enhance technical cooperation. The Philippines also committed to assist Timor-Leste in the skills formation of the Timorese people. In recent months, under the direction of our Technical Cooperation Council of the Philippines, an attached agency of the Department of Foreign Affairs, we have deployed a team from our Department of Science and Technology who assisted the Timorese people in enhancing skills on food processing. We committed to increase engagements in such technical cooperation and we have tasked our respective ministries to explore and enhance future partnerships on this matter. The president also shared the Timorese president has given suggestions in addressing challenges in the West Philippine Sea, acknowledging the importance of a rules-based international law and UNCLOS adherence in dealing with geopolitical issues. That is, why, that is with gratitude that uh, we also have uh, received the expressions of support from the President for the Philippines uh, in terms of uh, the rules, our, our, our adherence to uh, a rules-based international law, uh, to UNCLOS, uh, and uh, of all of the uh, different issues that, uh, uh, that we are facing, uh, geopolitical issues that we are facing around the world. Uh, the, uh, once again, the experience of uh, the President has shown uh, what uh, the Philippines can do to uh, further our discussion and our argument as to uh, the continued adher adherence of all, of all parties to a rules-based system and international law. At 9 in the morning today, Jose Ramos Horta arrived at Malacanang Palace for his state visit. He received arrival honors and a warm welcome from President Marcos Jr. and several government officials. President Marcos Jr. emphasized the honor of the Timorese President's visit to the Philippines. He expressed hope for further strengthening the relationship between the two countries and underscored his support for Timor-Leste's membership in ASEAN. The Philippines has always been uh, uh, very supportive of not only uh, the process of independence that uh, East Timor went through, uh, uh, but also for your uh, involvement in uh, international relations and international uh, uh, events and issues uh, that uh, we feel are necessary uh, for us to be able to to uh, come together and uh, to for us to be able to make a uh, difference and to maintain the peace and the um, stability in our region. The Timorese president extended his gratitude for the strong support of the Philippines in their journey for independence. He also thanked the Philippines for backing their full-fledged membership in ASEAN. We are now working around the clock to uh, fulfill, implement the milestones and we feel confident that we could uh, uh, join uh, at least between myself and our Prime Minister, Ms. Shanana Guzman. We have uh, the established for ourselves uh, 2025, we should be ready to fully uh, be a, a, a member of ASEAN. Kenneth Pashente for the nation.